Hey there, welcome back. I have my first and second trimester review. <laughs> Is that what you want to call it? I don't think that's the word I was looking for. Uh, but I'm going to go over like the symptoms that I had or did not have compared to like what I was expecting. I made notes so that I would not forget. I am in third trimester now, week 34, and it's just... <laughs> <laughs> like going downhill from here. I don't know. I'm still, I'm still convinced first trimester was the worst. I know everyone says third trimester is the worst. Um, and granted, I still have like a month left, uh, but I'm still not convinced yet. So first trimester, um, just finding out I was pregnant. My biggest symptoms were acne was the first where it was like, this is like beyond period acne. This is, I just turned 13 and I am going through hormonal changes and it is everywhere, all over my chest, all over my back. I think I had a picture at one time. If I still have it, I'll post it. Uh, but I think I took it off my phone because I just like, I'm so sick of having this on here and looking at it because it was just like, I mean, no one really wants to have back knee and chest knee like pimps all over their camera roll so I'm pretty sure I took it off but yeah acne what we'll say with that is that it ended up only being first trimester as an issue second trimester my skin started clearing up again and I didn't have the problem so it was really it was like probably midway through second no it was at the beginning of second trimester um and if I say semester at some point just know I was a high school counselor and uh, I'm used to doing first and second semester. <laughs> so I will probably get those interchanged. Um, and then other than acne, my boobs were so sore, but I also attributed that to just like, oh, it must be worse than normal for my period. So that one wasn't like a, I'm pregnant. Um, and then just being tired, like so tired. I'm a tired person, but like, I was getting first trimester a decent amount of sleep well like at the beginning and I was still so tired so those are the three things that made me think like oh I might be pregnant and then I just woke up one morning and I had a tightness in my belly and I I couldn't explain why I'm like this is like weird like something feels like there's something going on in there and like I am pregnant so like when I had that thought and that and that moment was like 4 a.m. in the morning. I was like, I'm just going to take a test. So those were the big ones. Um, my mood didn't change. I know that's something I was expecting it to change, but it didn't really change. I, I hadn't cried more or had like as many really like any mood swings as like what you see on TV. What I've noticed from pregnancy is that what you see on TV is just like a very exaggerated version of it. And you know what, some of it is not exaggerated enough and we'll get to it. Um, um, tired, okay. So when it comes to pregnancy sickness, and this is what did not in my case get exaggerated as much, my tongue is tied. Oh, pregnancy brain, that is a thing. Um, is that they call it morning sickness. It is not morning sickness. It is just sickness. Like mine is all day sickness. And it can happen in the morning, it can happen in the afternoon, it can happen at night, it can happen all day long. Unfortunately, most of mine was all day long up until the end of second trimester. Uh, and now it's just like, Maybe lunch and dinner. Dinner time is usually actually bad for me now. I don't know why, which we'll, I'll do the third trimester um, check in for that. But all literally all day, like first and second trimester, pretty much up until like midway through second trimester, that is when like it starts just being like one or two times a day I'd throw up. Um, and then it got to the point where I was only like half the week sick and half the week I was okay. Um, so there was like a semi light at the end of the tunnel where it wasn't every single day. I will say from week four, so week four is when I found out from week, week four to week six, those two weeks, 
uh, in my mind, I thought it was going to happen immediately. I was like, oh, you know what? I know I feel really good and I'm not going to get sick. And then I realized, oh, um, no, actually, usually it doesn't even start until like week six of getting sick. So week six to week 10, I had a whole month of not throwing up, but just feeling like I needed to throw up. Like, you know the feeling where you are so hungry or sick? Like, that's what it felt like, where only thing that helped me was eating. And that's why I gained 10 pounds the first month. And I was so disappointed in myself because, like, I, re I researched everything and I was told first trimester you really shouldn't gain any weight and I was like I've already gained 10 pounds and it is only week 10 so I'm like this is not going well because I read like you should only gain like 15 to 25 pounds in your pregnancy um which after doing more research on that 15 to 25 pounds is for someone that's already overweight I was not overweight so um I think up to 30 is like their healthy standard but at the end of the day like whatever you need you need as long as it's not like an absurd amount where it's like unhealthy i'm trying not to focus on the number like i if i get to 35 40 hope i don't um then it happens you know and then i deal with it afterwards but if like baby is healthy and i'm healthy like that's what matters so yeah first uh Till 10 weeks, I was just eating six to 10, eating everything, but feeling sick. And then week 10 to week, gosh, I don't know, 24, 25, it was nonstop every day. Actually, no, maybe week 20, um, nonstop puking, like morning, afternoon, night, puke, puke, puke. Did not gain anything during that time period. Um, didn't lose it though either because I did like, when you throw everything up, you get hungry again. It's not like your body's just like, I don't need food. Um, no, you have like a growing fetus inside you. You still need food. So like I would replenish my body. Um, but I definitely wasn't getting like a surplus of anything. So um, didn't gain anything at that point. And then as far as the nausea after week 20, so 20 to the end of second trimester, um, like I said, about like half the week I was like feeling sick and the other half I was feeling um, good. And that's when I gained another, I think, five pounds um at that point so uh i was on the uppity up <laughs> as i like to call it uh let's see what else mm. oh acne stopped midway through second trimester i don't know if i told you that um but yeah or beginning of beginning to like midway through uh that cleared up and went back to normal i still get acne but like i'm just someone that gets acne but it was not like acne um, baby kicks. So I started feeling them at 14 weeks and uh, everyone described it to me as like, it'll feel like butterflies and like cute little flutters and you'll like, I just like pictured getting butterflies in your stomach. You know like when you're going over, like people describe it like when you're going over a hill and you get that like feeling, I call it butterflies in your stomach. I, that's not what I felt. And so I would describe it when people ask me, are you feeling baby? I'm like, well, I, I think so. Like, this isn't normal for my body to feel these things, but it just feels like there's like a fish inside of me, just like floating around and like really like soft, gentle, like movements, like nothing hurt. And they're like, oh, that's probably just gas. You're not feeling it yet. Um, and no, I, those were baby kicks because on um, an ultrasound, I could see baby kicking at the same time I was feeling the fish. <laughs> so I knew like, no, that's what it is. Um, so 14 weeks for that. And then Randall started being able to feel baby, like um, just touching my stomach around 19 weeks where he was still a little unsure. Um, but by like 20, 22 weeks, it was like, no, that, that baby kicking. Um, and a more aggressive, it gets more aggressive as it goes on. Just know that and they'll start kicking your bladder and you'll start. <laughs> Oh, just wait until third trimester update. <laughs> um, mm -mm -mm. So, oh, sleeping, sleeping. I'm a belly sleeper, and if any of you are belly sleepers, just know right now uh, it's going to be hard because I think week 19 is when like, I officially stopped being able to sleep on my belly, and I think week, week 
17 to 19 I even had just like pillows like kind of like propping me up like making it so my belly wasn't touching like and it wasn't uncomfortable just to keep sleeping on my stomach and my doctor's like it's not gonna hurt baby if you sleep on your stomach just like when you get uncomfortable that's when it's probably time to start sleeping on your side um you're not supposed to sleep on your back I didn't know this until I got pregnant and apparently like baby can cut off like circulation to your organs and it can be harmful for babies so uh, when you can only sleep on your sides and they tell you sleep on your left side but I'm telling you you sleep on your left side all night you're going to be in severe pain so literally my after week 19 uh, my nights go where I am woken up from severe pain I flip to my other side until I'm woken up from severe pain and I flip to my other side again who's already still in pain and then I'll like prop up like a ton of pillows so I'm like sleeping oh that's not comfy uh like partially on my back um just to like get rid of some of the pain but then here's the catch then you're in pain and really what you want is like to massage your legs you're not supposed to massage your legs in pregnancy because apparently you get blood clots in them so i feel like everything's working against you when it comes to sleeping and i cannot wait like that's my and i know i'm not gonna get sleep like once baby's here but like i need to at least be able to be comfortable and i can't wait for that i cannot wait for that so yeah just be prepared sleeping just I don't know when you'll ever sleep again. I haven't had baby yet to even be like, I can kind of sleep, which I know for sure in the first like month I'm not going to be able to because I'm going to be waking up or breastfeeding all the time. <laughs> um, and then I go headaches. I have had sporadic headaches throughout, not like anything crazy, but more definitely more than normal. And you can only take um, like Tylenol, which isn't a big deal because I like Tylenol, um, but just to know that Tylenol is like the safe one to take. And then um, heartburn at the end of second trimester, like severe heart. I pretty much had it throughout, but like it got bad. Like I could literally eat just like cereal, such a mild thing, and get heartburn from it. It's, I don't know, my body just, it, it hates me. Like you get pregnant, it just hates you. And um, the only thing that's kind of like helped with that is I think I think it's kind of helped is almond milk so I will drink a little bit of almond milk sometimes I say sometimes because like I don't do it every night but sometimes I do it and I do notice I don't get it as much then because it's almost guaranteed to happen at night especially but like even right now I have heartburn and I have no idea like what I ate to cause that um also it's like starting to storm out so like the lighting's getting weird um, food aversion. So after week six, I started hating a lot of foods because I mean, when you feel sick all the time, I guess you're not just like, I want everything. At least I wasn't like that. Um, so there was a ton of things that like I see that I don't want to eat anymore. Big one, coffee. Don't, I, I started, just started drinking a little bit again and it still kind of makes me sick but I'm so tired and like I just want a little bit and you're allowed having like up to 200 milligrams of coffee a day and I think at max I have 100 milligrams um a day but it still doesn't help really with my tiredness um I haven't had any cravings I think that's the weirdest thing like I just expected to have cravings and I did not have any so um, those are my first and second trimester updates. Let me know if you have any uh, fun ones that you want to add. I feel like for the most part, mine have been pretty mild, minus being sick. Like, the puking. Like, that has been the worst. And obviously the sleeping is really bad, but like, I've heard of people having way worse pregnancy symptoms. Um, and I'm just, there's some weird ones out there. Okay. So what I want to do now is just quickly do an Ipsy unboxing for April. April, yeah, we <laughs> are in April. It feels like it's still February. So this is Keep Growing. The glam bag is made with recycled fabric, cute. So we're gonna do the little one first. This is the um, a little dandelion bag made of recycling. I'm gonna try to actually fix this real quick. This lighting's really bothering me. 
so that's a little bit better um uh, let's see what we got the first thing is by Haas laboratories i bet it's a lipstick because it's in the color blaze which reminds me of like a red color and it is a oh it's not red though that's pretty this is more of like a neutral pinky purple and it's a gloss which is perfect because not good with lip good liquid lipstick and i actually have my best friend's wedding this weekend which this is actually gonna be a really pretty color because it's kind of like a dusty rose and the theme is like dusty every color <laughs> so i'll look good the hydrating primer by shades by shan i wonder if that's shan xo i could be making that up i thought she might have a makeup line but i'm not sure um perfect primer i haven't actually used makeup in a decent while i'm gonna have to Ooh, glow recipe watermelon glow dew drops does this just make you super um illuminated i would say so so a little baby one of that and then we have a am to pm retractable eyeliner in the color it looks kind of mauvey oh you know what forgot burping non-stop being pregnant you're gonna burp no apologies but i will apologize to you ahead of time if i burp anymore in this <laughs> and gassy wow forgot two things yep gas cute luckily randall laughs whenever i fart um i don't know he gets humor out of it and i'm just like Ugh. Cause like usually I don't feel good and that's why it's coming. But like you can't really control it either. It's like a plum brown color. That's actually really pretty, but not what I was expecting. And the last thing for the Ipsy Glam bag, which I believe is still $12 a month. I always forget to mention that. Um, is Wonder Beauty Unalashed Volume Curl Mascara. And it's a little baby sample size which I enjoy because I love trying out new mascaras um, and I also hate buying mascara so when I get it, it makes me happy. And then going into the actual um, Glam Bag Plus which is I think like $25 a month. It will all be linked below. We have a little sample, they usually don't put samples in these, um, Aceology Hydro Glow and Deep Hydrating Watermelon Eye Mask. Ooh, they're little so I guess they're not really samples then. They're eye patches. You put them underneath kind of like spa self-care day. And I bet that smells good. By Butta. Like butt ta. <laughs> this is the tea tree and aloe mask scrub. Is it for your butt? Triple action clay mask foam cleanser deep exfoliator. Actually, all of that sounds like something my skin would thrive with. So it's a three-in-one facial cleanser for blemish skin yeah that's actually i can break out eat, like just by like i don't touch my face but, like if i touch it like i'm almost guaranteed break out so um i love stuff like this especially with tea tree oil which is like safe for baby and overall like i know i've had tea tree oil acne treatments and like my skin likes it and um, it also has aloe to help like replenish your skin um and not make it super red because I do have kind of sensitive skin. So this is this is something I'm excited for. And by Dr. Brandt, oh, I love this brand, Clean Biotic Peach Balance Yogurt Cleanser with Chlorophyll. Hmm. This is supposed to dissolve stubborn impurities, help replenish skin's moisture, and maintain skin's peach balance. Perfect. Um, yogurt, I love eating yogurt. <laughs> why not put it in here and i like this i trust dr brand's brand like they put a lot of research into their products so um i always like get super excited to try something from them where some brands i'm like my skin is so sensitive i don't trust you oh these are nice this is a makeup brush um makeup brushes by Farah, but like it they're heavy it kind of feels like there's water in them they're not but there's these just adorable little daisies on it how adorable and cute and soft oh, yes 
I need to do a clear out of my makeup brushes and like, um, I think I have too many at this point, especially because Ipsy sends a lot of them, which I appreciate, but that means I need to get rid of some of my old ones too, um, or give away some of my new ones. Looks like we have a foundation brush, a highlighter brush, a eyeshadow brush, and like a blush brush. Or, you know, if you're me, you just do whatever. You can use them for everything. <laughs> and it looks like the last thing, other than the bag, which I think is another recycled Daisy bag, is an eyeshadow palette by Mishno Mich Beauty blush palette. Oh, there's four shades in here. I don't think any of these shades are like really what I'm looking for for the wedding. I think I have another option though. It's going to be a little bit better. Uh, but that is beautiful. The Magnific... Magnific... Mag <laughs> Magnific... <laughs> I feel like I should know this. Magnific... I want to say Magnificent. Magnific... I don't know. That color, the sparkle color, you guys are watching me struggle right now, um, is beautiful, but Madame, mm, that one, that one's probably my favorite in here. I don't usually use blush. I'll probably end up giving this away. It's going to be Teacher Appreciation Week here in like a weekish, two weeks from now. And what I plan on doing is like doing a clear of all my new stuff and like giving it to them for like a self care bar because that's something I would enjoy. Alrighty, that's everything I have. I'm sorry this video is forever, um, but you know how I am. I start talking, I thought it'd be fast, and then it wasn't, so love you so much. I will see you guys soon in another video, and have a beautiful day. Bye.